Hello, it's Dr. Clark here again. We're back on Lab Chart Reader for the Mac, and this is part two of the um, tutorial looking at the conversion of um, flow and volume recorded on the Spirometry pod on a PC in the lab. Uh, but now we're using Lab Chart Reader, which doesn't have the module or the pod. So we're trying to interpret some data from these. Um, this is just um, after about five minutes of clicking, um, uh, adding a few channels at the bottom here. We've added three more channels. Um, if I just move the channels at the top so they're a little bit smaller so we can concentrate on what we've done at the bottom, I'll give you a quick rundown of what I've added here. There are three new channels added. Um, the first is our tidal volume, VT. The second is our respiratory rate, F. And the third is uh, an arithmetic calculation which is giving us our minute ventilation, V. So what we've got at the top is VT. How do we work out what our tidal volume was? Well, we did uh, added another channel, used a cyclic measurement where we took the volume channel and reported the maximum uh, at every, uh, every respiratory cycle. So what you've got is you've got here a series of measurements where it's looking at the maximum peak and working out what the tidal volume was. Um, it's as near as damn it for this kind of thing. And there we have the tidal volume. Underneath we want to work out what the uh, respiratory rate is, or F, so we can do that very simply from the cyclic measurements window again, this time using flow, which is our original raw data, and we can calculate a rate from the flow, and you can see what it's doing is it's picking up every peak and measuring the rate of that. It unfortunately reports it as BPM, but in, in this situation we can refer that as breaths per minute. So let's just have that, and there's our rate here. So what is uh, minute volume? Well, minute volume is VT times F, so we can go to the new channel we created down here, choose arithmetic from the list of uh, options, and we times channel 8, which is VT, multiplied by channel 9, which is F. And we do that by adding the channels from the drop-down list and then adding an arithmetic function of multiplication from the functions list. We've got channel 8 multiplied by channel 9, press OK, and it produces um, these data here, which you can see if I auto-scale it should now show us, as it did before, the minute volume. Um, it's got a little bit squonky, but that's what happens sometimes with this. So let's just go back to there, make sure it's set up right, and there we are, there's our minute volume, reappeared again. Um, there are a few weird bugs in this software, and sometimes you set things up, come back and they haven't appeared, you just gotta click and set them up again. But you can see now we can have real-time readout. On the left-hand side, we've got here um, VT, here F, and here a uh, minute volume and you can see as this person has done more and more exercise uh, values have changed according to what we'd expect with the physiology so i hope that helps um, remember i'm not a respiratory physiologist um, but this is a quick rundown of how to uh, do some basic uh, analysis using that chart